Hello friends, this is Pavan Bahuguna from PavanBahuguna.com and today we are going to see how to run Kali Linux from VMware image and it's very easy, you just have to download the image and open it. So let's see how to do it. First of all, you have to open your browser and go to google.com and just have to type Kali Linux and from there you can go to Kali dot org once you have opened the their official page you will see lots of option and for your introduction let me tell you Kali Linux is one of the best OS for advanced penetration and it's used worldwide by many hackers and crackers also for penetration testing even forensics people use it so it is one of the best as it has many tools in build for all those testings so let's see what are those tools how to no we don't be doing how to run those tools I will be only showing one or two just go to downloads and there you will see many Kali Linux ISO image here we don't have to download an ISO image because we are running Kali Linux from VMware image directly so we won't be installing we will be just be using it so just come downwards and see the link download Kali Linux VMware and little bottom there is a link Kali virtual images so just click on that and you will be redirected to the new page now you will see here that different images are given Kali Linux 64 bit you can even download from torrent Kali Linux 32 bit now we have to get this Kali Linux 64 bit VM image so I have started the download with the help of IDM and it's started now so I will be skipping this download because it will take some time so till then I will just go through this site and see what they have now friends my download is complete so it's a uh, R5 and I have and I have to extract it so as this is uh, around more than 2 GB of image so it will take time to extract it so these are the files let's extract it now It will take time to extract this as this is a big file so I will skip this and will fast forward it so that we can save some time and till then you can go and yep, grab some coffee or tea As the extraction is going, let me open the VMware tool, VMware workstation, so that we can open it and then use it. So, extraction is going to complete. Just be with me. Eighty-two, eighty-three, four, eighty-seven, ninety, and done. 
now you have all, I have already opened the VMware workstation and I will go to file click on open and just select the folder where I have downloaded and extracted my Kali Linux image you can directly copy like me so here it's showing one just select and open oh it's open now see the configuration that's memory is 2 GB selected processor 4 gig sorry 4 hard is 40 GB network NAT USB present sound card auto detect display auto detect description they have given username password Kali Linux home page and let's try it to run now click on power on this virtual machine oh it's giving me error this virtual machine is configured to run with 4 CPUs but the host has only 2 ok I have only 2 CPUs so I will have to add edit click on edit virtual machine settings and processor just decrease this number of cores per processor to 1 and you are good to go now run it should run now so just it's saying if you have copied or moved this image so you have to go by default you just click on I copied it it's very good if you don't know any answer <laughs> sync USB and here are two options Kali and advanced option let's see what's in advanced and here are the kernel and the recovery mode I have selected the kernel uh, starting up So by using this image, we have saved a lot of time, otherwise we have to install it from scratch and now we are getting a pre-installed Kali Linux. Now we got the username, username is root, password is opposite of root, that is T-O-O-R. And now it's opening. I think this is the first time it's opening so it's taking little time oh it started see what a cool wallpaper as you can see on the left hand side there are so many shortcuts Firefox terminal <coughs> and other programs so let's open terminal and see some commands if everything is fine so here is our terminal let's start with uh, pwd now who am i df-h to see file system now let's check what's in temp and yeah temp was nothing much so that was some commands now let's open the firefox browser and see if internet is working fine or not it's open so there are some default page set ok we are opening it for first time so it's directing us to mozilla page let's close them and here is the default Kali Linux page and it also, also sets some bookmarks let's see Kali Linux tools and here are tools which Kali Linux supports and have been built 
as a tool listing with which tool you can see see information gathering vulnerability wireless attack web applications so oh my god there are so many tools information gathering you have is hack a map bing cds so that's why it's number one os for penetration penetration testing and hacking you see see your exploitation tools forensic tools test testing you name it and you have it see sniffing and spoofing password attacks maintaining access reverse engineering you get all these tools built in you don't have to search anywhere hardware hacking oh man lots of tools so these are the names of the shortcuts which are on the left hand side faraday ide now let's again open the terminal and we will check the ip of this kali linux os what they have assigned by default uh first of all let's run rpm hyphen q way grab hyphen i watch oh rpm is not a debian command sorry it's debian guys my mistake Can I try? Let's go to CD TC. Uh, let's see for. Hmm. I'm searching for release. Oh, there's Debian version. Got it. Oops. Yeah, Debian, yeah, Debian underscore version. So it's Kali Linux rolling. Now let's see the IP. If config. So IP is you see IP is given one nine two one six eight dot eight seven dot one two nine. I have even checked with IP ad addr show command. So it's there. Hope you are able to see this. Now let's explore some tabs. So, in application here, information gathering. So they have uh, made groups of those application which we were talking when we were checking the website of Kali Linux. So it's very like. they have done a very good job that they have group all the application as per their usage see post exploration forensics all has been dropped wow social engineering tools man we'll try after watch in other videos Let's try nmap. Nmap is a command which is used to scan all the open ports for any system or server. So if you are remote server which you want to see if there are any ports open or not, you can run this command. In many IT companies even nmap command is banned. You cannot run nmap command. but it is a very good tool to check the ports so here is a man page of it so they have given man page also when you open this so let's try syntax is nmap hyphen ap and the host name so i am trying for local host oh it's pa sorry 
Uh, so it shows all thousand scan ports on local hosts are closed. So it's good that all the ports are already closed. It has scanned thousand ports, more than thousand ports, but it's showing that thousand scan ports are closed. Uh, what else should I show you? Let's do net start. Nothing much. And oh, let's close and shut down the system now. Shut down hyphen H plus now command. So it's a normal Linux command to shut down the system. So we are again at our VMware workstation. So, guys, this was a tutorial. Hope you like it. If you like it, please subscribe, share it, share with your friends. If you need any other tutorial, please let me know and I will try to make it. Thanks. Thank you for watching. Please, please, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.